Hi, Space Jam community, Z here. Uh, today I'm very excited uh, with my friends from Kazakhstan. And uh, uh, like you said, uh, like you may already see on our press release, we had uh, this big partnership with BTU. And uh, today I'm with the co-founders of the exchange. So could you introduce yourself? Yes, I, uh, my name is Talga Dosanov. I'm a co-founder and CEO of BTU. And I'm Shukla Dibragimov. I'm also co-founder and chairman of BTU. So we're very excited. We actually have been uh, talking with them for a really long time. Really excited to actually set this up, and they came all the way to Singapore uh, mm -hmm. to visit us. So to so forth to extend and talk about details how we're going to execute it. So uh, we have set up some action plans, and we're really excited about it. So uh, for many of our community members, they are not may not familiar with our exchange because uh, you know a lot of our community members are based in the U.S., based in like China, Singapore. So could you give a little bit of introduction of exchange and how it's uh, what's the status sure. of it? Uh, first of all, our exchange is fully licensed and compliant, and it's originated from the European Union country of Estonia. So our goal was to make it as safe as possible, as compliant as possible. So we decided to start from um, European Union, from Estonia, and then move to um, Australia. We are about to uh, obtain a license from Australia as well, so we can cover both regions, Europe and Asia at the same time, and be fully compliant in both of those regions. So, oh, that's and really also, uh, mm -hmm. I forgot to mention, it's very important, we are fully powered by Bittrex, uh, our liquidity order books are provided by Bittrex. Our wallets are stored at Bittrex uh, secure servers. And obviously, uh, we enhance some security with Space Chain. <laughs> which now, is, now uh, we're even more secure. Yeah, <laughs> because we're more secure, now partnered yeah. with Space Chain as well. So now anybody who trades on the V2 platform can feel safe and secure because it will be very hard for anybody to get up to, uh, to space and try to get some, some of your data out. Oh yeah. That, yeah, that's what we do, and we're really, really happy that you guys are on board with our uh, believe in our vision and on board with us. Yeah. So um, yeah, I I know you guys spend a lot of time and energy on developing the technology and also the getting the license. Mm -hmm. So could you uh, give us a little brief on how difficult is it for you to get license and uh, like what kind of the process it gonna take and uh, what kind of work you have done with that? Depends on the jurisdiction. Uh, in Europe, in general, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, historically and geographically, it's always difficult to obtain a license because of compliance, KYC, AML, because of some uh, other uh, like due diligence checks. So uh, obtaining a license in Estonia was very uh, straightforward. It was very transparent and it's a comfortable process. The same I can say about Australia and uh, you but see that these regions were they they're quite well adapted for new ideas and uh, new projects such as uh, such as our exchange. So that's why it was quite straightforward. I mean, the all the regulators and everybody who was involved from the local government side they were quite uh, familiar with the process and procedure. Okay. So that's why it took us in Estonia it took us what four weeks. Mm -hmm. to obtain a license okay, and uh, in Australia it's around about the same time. Okay, that, that's very really good. I know you guys actually have plan for international expansion and yes. getting, more, yes. getting more license. That, yes. That's really smart. Yeah, yeah. By end of this year we, have, we expect to obtain a license in Kazakhstan as well. Mm -hmm. We have a special uh, economic zone so we plan to obtain a license. It's really important that it's governed by the, um, by the UK law so mm -hmm. anybody uh, anybody participating in, in BTU in, the, in our exchange in Kazakhstan, it will be protected. They will be protected by English law. Yes. Okay. Oh, that, that's really awesome. I, it's, I it's, it's set up on the it's set up on the Astana Financial Exchange platform, mm -hmm. and uh, that is governed by the yes by the UK law. Yeah, yeah. I think with all the licensed people will feel very comfortable or like uh, you know trading on your on the platform. Mm -hmm. I think they are also interesting though. Know, about the team. So, uh, who is working on this? And uh, actually, people are, have been asking, oh, what is this for you? And uh, like, where, where did it come from? Could you introduce a little bit of that? The top management team and the middle management team, we are all have uh, experience in the financial markets. All been working in uh, banks, in uh, stock exchanges, has very, very good experience in financial market. The development side, we usually uh, work with uh, our partners from Ukraine, 
It's a company called Idea Soft, one of the largest and the most like popular and developed um, IT developers in uh, Eastern and Central Europe. And we have a big team uh, of developers, around 150 people. Oh wow! Yeah, very creative guys. So. <laughs> well, that, that's a lot. Of, that, that's actually a lot of developers. So yeah, yeah I, I, you guys have been. I know uh, we first talked about, talk about the exchange. I think a year, almost two years ago, almost. Yeah. Right? You guys, and but you guys just launched it. Like, why it took so long for you guys to prepare everything and uh, it's like get ready? Well, I would say the the main answer and the biggest issue was. We didn't want to launch half ready. Yes. We didn't want to f launch something and then you know kept on coming back with the bugs and try to you know figure out and at the same time making the user experience a lot worse. So we decided to say, look, let's sacrifice that extra liquidity and uh, let's sacrifice the the time, but get everything right in the first go. So when we launch, we know that there's no problem. So we've been going. For the past maybe six months, we've been doing the test back and forth, back and forth, trying to get out all the small bugs. So it goes without saying there might be bugs, of course, yeah. because <laughs> things things change all the time. Also, something new comes up, but we're quite confident that you know we've actually released a platform and an exchange that's that's uh, completely operational without any kind of glitches or anything that could have gone wrong if we would have launched much sooner than what we did. Okay. Yeah, as an entrepreneur myself, I mean, keeping such a big team for that much a longer time yeah. and, uh, before the launch shows a lot of commitments. That's yeah. like a it's you know this this is that's what I said. You know, we I, I said we sacrificed time yeah. and uh, some other parts, but I didn't mention about money. Of course, yeah. but for us, it's yeah. the most important thing. It's not it is how we go forward. Yeah. It's the experience that the people have when they when they use our platform and our exchange as compared to other ones. Yeah. First of all, they'll see there's a lot more functionalities, it's more professional, you'll see there's a lot more uh, instruments that you can use in terms of helping you, uh, in terms of guiding you and helping you making your uh, perfect trades that you want to make and uh, you know making plannings because we have uh, calculators on board, on board that gives you immediate uh, calculations and gives you immediate results of what you will get yeah. or it gives you uh, it, it can, you can track your performances of all your trades uh, as you go along so there's a lot a lot of functionality I mean there's yeah. too much to talk about right now but uh, it's something that people will be, I think will definitely appreciate when you come on board yeah it's great I, I feel like every time you talk I talk with you guys you guys show so much about strategy thinking you have so much about the long-term plan instead of like just push it forward. So uh, yeah, like uh, uh, when you when we just start to discuss about uh, getting your data on our, our platform, and I feel like uh, uh, well, although we're talking to many of other exchanges, but you guys are the, the quickest one to give us a response saying, okay, we're, we're up to it. So we're very really excited about that. So yeah, last year I went to Kazakhstan to visit, visit it, and uh, I actually uh, met with the Minister of the Space um, uh, Department of Space and Defense, and I was able to meet some of the space agency people. I saw this giant factory with the Airbus, so I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, I know you guys are interact with the space agency people and uh, familiar with the industry. So could you share a little bit more about what's happening uh, in the for space industry in Kazakhstan and also what kind of potential there is? Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of potential. First of all, I have to say, you know, the interaction became a lot more active after you came <laughs> because uh, you as having a vision, you know, of setting up a company like Space Chain that allows commercial satellites to be launched on commercial basis. I can repeat myself on commercial basis, you know, something that has never been done before because of the way that everything used to operate around all the space agencies around the world. I think, uh, you know, in Kazakhstan, uh, we see this opportunity in, as using the current uh, platform that we have in terms of commercializing space as you know uh, it hasn't been done before yeah. and uh, I think um, it's it's uh, when it was built in the old Soviet times it was built for a reason it was the most cheapest and the most uh, easiest launch platforms I think one of the most easiest launch platforms in the world and I think using it in a commercial from a commercial basis it makes even more sense for private companies and private individuals because it's the cost is what drives the, mo yeah. the, the, the main the main idea behind sending 
private companies or private satellites into space is the fact that you can do it cheaper as opposed to doing it somewhere else where it costs you 20, 30 yeah, percent. I think you know this better than us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the only re I think the main reason we can do space chain is that we can actually make the launch. It's not going to cost us like uh, 200 million dollars to launch satellite. We can start from small ones and gradually kind of like. So that's how every company, you know, we're going to bootstrap the early, 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 early product, then to gradually develop it. So we definitely see opportunity there. And especially for Kazakhstan, if you have the natural advantage of and a huge history, long history for space development. So yeah, we're, we're definitely like gonna look for more development. Mm -hmm. So one last question will be, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so if, if our community member are interested, I'll uh, register with you guys. So how to do it and where to find you guys? So uh, first of all, you can always go and visit our website at www.btu.com. If you want to trade, you have to first submit all your information. All verified users will be able to do some trades. Otherwise, uh, we are fully compliant without verification. Unfortunately, you won't be able to trade. So and rest assured that all your data will be very secure because it's stored on the space chains platforms in space. So <laughs> yeah. it's 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 actually it's the only it's the only exchange whether it's. You know the traditional exchanges or the cryptocurrency exchange that has uh, that provides the service. Yeah. We thought Sky was the limit. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Because of space chain. Yeah, I, yes. I really appreciate your support Thank and uh, doing this interview with Thank me. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.